Okay, so we are going to look at a binary search. So first of all, what we'll do is just place in some values here. So 2, 9, 12, 18, 27, 81, 85, 99, and 100. And what we'll also do is just number these elements. So I'll do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. So, what we're going to basically say is that our goal state, our goal that we're looking for, is the value 85. So, what we are going to do is basically, we're going to find the middle point of the list. Now, we don't actually mean the middle value. What we mean is the actual middle place in the list. Now, to do that, we need the start position of the list and the end position of the list. So, what you'll see we here, uh, we have our start position of position 0. We have our end position of position 8, which will mean our middle position is position 4. And we can calculate that just by working out that our midpoint is our start plus our end over 2. So that would equal 0 plus 8 over 2, which would equal 4. So, now that we have our um, mid value, we know that our mid value is 27. Now all we have to do here is compare our middle value with our goal value. Now what we know is that our goal value, which in this case is 85, is higher than our middle position. So what we're going to do is we're going to move our start position up to here. Now at this point we will need to recalculate where our midpoint is. So, so what we're going to do now is we're going to calculate a new midpoint. So, this time our start position isn't position 0, it's actually element 5. Our end position is still element 8, which equals 13 over 2, which gives us 6.5. So what we'll basically do is get rid of the 0.5 part. So our mid position is now position 6. So all we'll do is basically take our mid position here and put it there. Now at this point in the algorithm we would then check if our current position, our current value, is our goal value, in which case it is, so we can now report that it has been successful. But this time we have set our goal as 87. Now you'll notice if you look in the list that 87 isn't actually in there. So let's just follow the algorithm through. So what we're going to do is first of all calculate our mid position, which would still be 4 to start off with, just as before. So what we'll do is compare our current value, our mid value, with our goal state. And what we'll say is that the current position, the current goal state is higher than 27 so what we're going to do is we're going to move our goal, our start. So if we move our start, what we're going to do is say our start position is here. At which point we'll then say that our new, our new midpoint is 5 plus 8, which is 13, divided by 2, which is 6.5, which would be 6. So now we'll say that our mid position is actually there. So again, we will compare our current value, and what we'll see is, well, 8 to 7 is bigger than 8 to 5, so we need to move our start position again. So if we just grab our start position and move that up there. I'll just move that over a little bit just to keep the space in there. So again, what we'll see is, right, okay, so our start position is 7, 
and 8, which is 15, so divide it by 2, which is 7 and a half. So we go to 7. So at this point, we'll actually say our end position and our start position are the same. At which point the algorithm is going to fail? If your start position and your end position ever change places, then you've not found a match, which is perfectly possible. Possi possible. So if a binary search, your start and your end position ever change over, then you can successfully say that that item is not in the list. Obviously, you would just use a Boolean flag to say that you have found them. So let's look at this item. Let's look at this search in pseudocode. Um, that example, the result was to the right-hand side of the midpoint. So this time, what we're going to do is look at the left-hand side. So this time, we've set a goal state of 9. So again, what we'll do is we will calculate the midpoint, which we've already done, which is 0 plus 8 over 2, which is 4. So this time, when we're looking at the midpoint, it's 27. So our goal state is less than that. So at this point, we will move our end position down to here. We'll recalculate our um, midpoint. So our midpoint will be 0 plus 3 over 2, which will be 1.5, which will equal 1. So, our, so what we'll say is that our new midpoint is now in which case we've actually found our goal state, so that would be fine. So, in binary search pseudocode, we, we would start by saying that found equals false. We're going to use this as our flag to decide whether we have found our goal or not. Let's just assume that we have asked the user what they are going to type in. Uh, sorry, what, what they are ser searching for. So in Python, we've only got a while loop, so let's look at that. We would basically say that while, I'll have these brackets here to make it a little bit more readable, while my start position is less than or equal to my end position, and Found equals false means I either haven't found anything or my start position is still in front of my end position, so that's okay. What we'll say is that our midpoint equals whatever my start position is plus my end position, and we'll divide that by 2. Now, I would basically say that mid is an integer. So if we ended up with a, for example, 6.5 as a position, we would just store that as 6. Now, if my current value, so if my list position is what I'm after, is after my goal, then that's great. I say that found equals true. Else, if what I'm looking for, so if my current value is less than my goal, so for example, if what I'm looking at is 65, but my goal is 72. Then I need to adjust my start position. So start position equals whatever my midpoint was, plus 1. Else, what I adjust my end position. So my end position is whatever my midpoint was, minus 1. And at this point, I would end my while. And that would be the binary search pseudocode. 
So if we implement it in Python, we would have something fairly similar to this. So we set the found to false, we set the start position to zero, and we set the end position to the length of the list minus one. This is just a print statement just for read readability. And what we're basically saying, while well, our start position is before our end position, and the found flag is false, then we say the middle is whatever our start position plus the end position divided by two. Now the double integer, the double divide sign is just to do an integer division, so we'll automatically truncate any decimal point. If our list midpoint is what we're looking for, i.e. equals is equal to our goal, then found is true, in which case we will exit all these statements and this loop will now stop. Otherwise, if what we're looking at is less than our goal, then we put our start position above the middle, else we put the end position one beneath the middle.